Hey, what's up, Xbox Adoption? Folks, let me get this stuff set up and ready to go. We'll be, we'll be good to go. Well, oh, it's taking forever to sync data for me. There we go. Wow, it's taking forever. Well, I guess I can start talking about it while it's syncing data for me. Uh, hey guys, it's Spy Shadow here. We are doing a review of a... Um, oh, there we go. It's loading up. Good. Tonight we are going to be reviewing a game called Real Farm. This is published by S-O-E-D-E-S-C-O. -E -E so it's Sodes Sodesco? Sodesco Publishing. And it's also developed by Triangular Studios. Uh, this is a uh, courtesy of Keymailer. I don't know if you guys are aware by now, but I do do reviews of these particular type of games that Keymailer provides to me for review purposes as well as streaming purposes. So we're going to be running about an hour and just check out this awesome game called it Real Farm. It's of course, as it is, a real farm simulator. What's up, DG Goat? How are you doing tonight? It's the game audio is loud again. Per usual, most of these games, their game audio is loud. I probably should have thought about that, putting that down. Okay, I'm doing that right now, guys. Thank you, Xbox. I appreciate it. How does 50 sound? Oh, look at that glitch. It won't give me ambience. Wait, it did ambience. What? There it is. Oh, good. Apply. Oh, how about that? That's a lot nicer, isn't it? Alright, guys, so yeah. This is courtesy of Keymailer. So there's Keymailer for you right there. It'll let you know a little bit about information about Keymailer. But Keymailer is the playthrough sponsored by Keymailer, who provides the code for review and streaming purposes. Check them out at Keymailer.com, or CO, to see how you can help support a variety of developers. Um, and again, this was... Uh, I'll be mentioning it throughout it, but this was published by Sodesco publishing as well as triangular studios who are the developer i appreciate you all for giving me this uh copy for review purposes uh this game came out in october 2017 uh i will put up the information on where you can find it at the windows store and there it is right there it's a uh, real farm a simulated agricultural world that puts you at the helm of your very own land so go check it out at microsoft.com in the microsoft store for 39.99 uh, for those of you that are new to these type of streams, I will be doing this for review purposes and then posting up on my YouTube. There's my YouTube account. Make sure you're going and subbing for it to it um, if you haven't already. That review will go up there. Please, I would love your feedback, your um, your thumbs up, your thumbs down, what you didn't like or what you did like about these this game. The point is to get this game the uh, some some PR, some media that it does deserve. I believe that all developers deserve it. Um, sometimes you don't get the A-plus games that um, you know are around, so we're going to go ahead and show this game off tonight because I think it's important. Uh, plus, it's pretty cool. Uh, I played a little bit of it and found out that uh, it's kind of enjoyable kind of building your own farm. So we're going to check it out for about an hour. For those of you that are on YouTube watching this, you'll recognize that I talk to people throughout the stream. If that's the case, it's because I am doing this live on Mixer.com, Spy Shadow. So you can go check me out here. Uh, uh, and it's also, the information is on my YouTube account. But that link follows to my Mixer account where I do all these live streams and where I do reviews of these games. And... Uh, so with that, we're going to go ahead and get in, involved in it. We're going to spend about an hour. Also, this the review will go up on Player Me. So if you fo if you follow it through, and uh, on the Player Me on my uh, my profile on Player Me, that's where my review will end up. And also, then the video will be recorded on YouTube. Um, Xbox, please refresh. Um, it is available. It's working fine. Um, if you guys have any issues throughout the stream, it's probably because the uh, you're not being able to uh, 
Yeah, it is kind of freezing a little bit, isn't it? But uh, we're going to have to just deal with what we got today, don't we? Um, all right, so let's let that, let's get started. Uh, I started playing a game, but I'm going to go ahead and start fresh again, just so that you know what's going on. We're going to start on easy to uh, kind of just get the feel of the game. I'm not trying to be a challenge. So you can do either career or field. Um, free. It sounds like um, pretty much in free mode you're given with whatever you would start a farm with uh, and then you're just free to do your own thing. While career starts you worker as a worker doing jobs and then you have to work your way up to buy your actual farm. Most of the action I probably want to share in this thing is that it has to do with career. But just to let you know there is a free mode so you're able to kind of just explore it. All right. Uh, save data created with this version of Real Farm cannot be used solar versions. Yes. So this game, like I said, has been published back in October 2017. So if you think about it, it's well over eight, nine months old. Um, but they have recently come out with new DLC packs, and that's what's causing me to do this review, per se. So I got this review along with the potato pack. Um, so hopefully we can explore the potato pack um, possibly in this review. If not, just to let you know there is the potato pack. It is available as a, a DLC. And this game is still getting updates even today. Um, which is why I thought it, think it deserves a lot more attention. Plus, a good old simulated game is always good to, good to experience. I think many people don't give it the credit that it does deserve. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just jump right into that and enjoy the... Uh, Enjoy this game. If it would load up. Hopefully it doesn't kick me out. Oh, here we go. Hello, welcome there. My name is Matt Davis. Nice to meet you. This must be your first day in town. If you do your best on your first day, you might become my protege. Well, I would love to do that. Learning the basics. Get into the tractor marked on the mini-map. So move forward. Camera is normal. Okay, right trigger is sprint. Very nice. Jump. Then B is enter vehicle, and then RB will be, end up being the vehicle control. So it looks like over here, we ended up on the farm as a worker. Got our house that we probably will end up owning, hopefully. And uh, some barns and some machinery that we can work with. So let's go ahead and check it out. So I'm going to go over to the tractor. It says enter vehicle. Get into it. Okay. Wow, now we're in our vehicle. Accelerates RT, LT is brake, hitch front, hitch back. Okay. So we're going to move over here. Now connect the weight to the front and the plow to the back. They're both marked on the mini pack. Okay, so we need to get a, a weight in the front. Okay, I just picked that up. And then we're going to go attach this to the back. like you have to be like right on top of it in order oh here we go oh hitch back hitch back they're both marked wait i lost the front it's probably because i hit y and i dropped it all right so a weight on the front and there we nope Ha <laughs> ha! Learn to drive to the field. Okay. Where's my field? Oh, I see it. So the blue markers show you pretty much where you need to go. That's kind of nice. Makes it easier. Is there a way to get a different view? Oh, that's a better view. So right trigger down it gives you a better view of it. So they have a, a sleep level up at the top. They have the time of day, the sunrise, and how much money I have. Look, good to know I start out with $20,000, right? Okay, plow the field within a time limit, huh? Uh, attachment control, LB. LB. Uh, rotate left. Rotate right. Rotate left. Do I have to hit A? Yes, I have to hit A. Alright. And we're off, right? So we gotta plow our field first. Makes sense. I'm gonna try to get to the edge so I can actually do this properly. 
Do, 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 do. Can I look behind me? Is it working? Oh, check it out. It is working. Alright, I'm going to do a large circle. Oh. Very realistic. It, you actually slow down a lot when you go up mountains. That's good to know. So I'm going to try to do this exactly like I mow my lawn. <laughs> and make it organized, right? Because um, that's the important part. Oh, and I already missed it. I already missed it so bad. Let's, let's back up. Let's back up. Got to get the corner. Did I get the corner? Nope. Good to know they give me like 25 minutes to do this, right? Because, heaven forbid, it takes me longer than that. Okay, here we go, here we go. Alright, now we turn, now we go straight, and it should be plowing, yep. I'm a little bit off of it, but I don't really mind that. Got to get that edge well. So the controls are kind of going up, so that le level's going up as I plow the field. Um, and you can always go to the left or the right with your vehicle, but right now I have it plowed to my to my left as we do the field here. Obviously it's realistic how slow machinery is, right? Farm machinery? You're always behind the mach farm machinery in the middle of the road, you know? If I have anything to say about it. Right, let's try to cut it a little sharper. There we go. That's better. You like my little squiggle as I started? Do, 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 do. Where'd the music go? I guess it's supposed to be like peaceful. Oh, there's the music. <laughs> I just said, where's the music? And it just went like, just started. Alright, now we're getting the hang of it. Going in a circle, trying to cover it all, get it all plowed, you know? So this is a review copy and uh, a stream of Real Farm. Uh, this is courtesy of Keymailer, who provided me with the copy for the review purpose. Um, and this will be posted up on my YouTube after I've finished recording it. I am doing this in a live stream, though, on Mixer.com. For those of you that don't know uh, more about me, my name's Spy Shadow here, and I do I am a streamer on Mixer. Um, most of the time, I do stream games like Fortnite, Sea of Thieves, uh, Grand Theft uh, Auto 5, and uh, online, and uh, and all the likes of that. Uh, but in my uh, in my time, I also like to stream games like this and provide review copies and kind of just give some attention to some of the indie games that are provided um, because I feel like a lot of the games that developers create are very cool. I'm a variety streamer. I love, love, love variety of streams. I play all sorts of different genres and um, it's very cool to explore the... Um, just the amount of effort that people put into developing some of these games Plus, I mean, you never get to experience games like these when you're always playing the A++, A++ titles, you know? Um, for instance, I mean, probably be a dream to, like, actually pretend like I'm owning a farm and stuff like that, which is why the simulator is so freaking cool. So you can kind of do it and experience it. as well for Keymailer in the past, and they're also posted up on my YouTube, so make sure you go check them out. Um, they're pretty cool. A lot of them are, 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 are indie games you probably have never heard of, but they are uh, 
there was a great experience in in looking at those. For instance, I just finished reviewing Moose Men, Men, and Moose Men was a uh, a kind of uh, platformer type story of a lot of Russian uh, folklore, and so I was pretty interested and pretty um, happy to experience a different culture throughout this throughout playing that game. And I think that's really the key. Key is experiencing things like that and um, that you normally wouldn't experience while you're gaming. Alright, finally I'm getting this precision down, you know? I'm actually plowing, even though I've completely gone over the the field and I'm actually plowing the grass. That's okay. So, limited time offer. Special price for corn. Oh, so limited time offer. They really do experience that as well. That's kind of cool. It's good to know. I thought tractors were fast. Yeah, you're telling me, man. I think it's faster when I put up the uh, when I put up the blades. But right now, since I'm plowing, it's dragging in the dirt. And man, I'm telling you what. I bet you I could upgrade my tractor too. Um, so another part of this is I've never played this game. Um, I, I played it a little bit before I started uh, doing this review, but the point I try to make it so that I don't play a lot of the game before I do the review. So it's pretty much a, an objective view of of how I, how the game is. I, I have no idea how deep it gets into things. I have no idea the storyline or the plot line. Um, so I'm kind of exploring this game with you here at the start, and it's done that, and I do that on purpose just to provide a more uh, a more real experience. So I don't know, maybe the tractor does get upgrades. Went to a fair and there were tractor pulls or something. Oh, Xbox, I know exactly what you're talking about. I love those things. The tractor pulls are legit. Those things pull like what? They pull a lot of weight, don't they? I would say like hundreds if not thousands of pounds. And like go fast. They go fast. Alright, good. Well, I'm I'm well on my way to plowing this field, so I, I don't know what I'm going to do afterward. I'm assuming I go get something and plant it, but we're 17 minutes into this stream here, and I need to finish plowing. <laughs> you see that? Ooh, dude, that's legit. I wonder if I could explode engines in this game. I mean, not going this slow, but... That'd be pretty funny if, like, halfway through the farming simulator, you just find out that you can, like, drag race... drag race tractors or something. <laughs> I'd be all for that. Go to the county fair, t pick, take your big pumpkin or something that wins the county fair thing, and drag your tractor in the tractor pool or something. I'm sure there's animals on here. I'm sure there is. You'll probably like, I don't know, like make horses, horse racing. Really, you could do a lot with a, tr a farming simulator because there's so much to it. I mean, it's pretty much like real life. I mean, they're trying to gonna try to make it as much as real life. You know, like this is what farmers do, and uh, there's a lot of variety in farming. Between cattle ranching, um, you know, thoroughbred horses, sheep. Goats. We have a lot of goats around my place. This is like really relaxing actually though. Do 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 do. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I love goats. I do too, man. I'm thinking about getting goats. We have, we have 0.33 acres, me and my wife, and we're out in the middle of the country as well, uh, which is why I talk so much about farmers, because we have neighbors. Escaping goats! Ah! Sounds like a horror film. Escaping goats. Capture them all. Uh, goats can be mean, man. I mean, they're they're really nice sometimes, but like, they can get pretty nippy. You know what? Surprisingly, is one of the meanest animals, though. Um, it are zebras. 
actual zebras. They're nasty things. I wonder if I actually have to do this whole thing. Wild horses? Oh. Man, those things, they'll buck you to death. Maybe I'll have to catch some wild horses. So the radius of this thing is pretty good. I mean, it's it's definitely making short work of the uh, of the field. Um, I probably could be doing. I could probably could be utilizing this a lot more um, better, but because you can see it's already getting dark, and I uh, for some reason haven't fi finished plowing the field. But that being said, we got to make sure this is done right. Because if so, I'm going to be too busy trying to figure out where exactly I haven't plowed. And if that's the case... Oh, cool. Alright, return the equipment. Alright, so I'm assuming... Um, where's the equipment turn? I think I went this way, right? Where did that blue circle go? How can I pull up my map? Let's see. Select. Oh, there it is. Yep, I'm heading in the right direction. Ooh, I have a lot of fields. I plowed field four. Oh, pick up the tool. Pick up the tool. Yes. Uh, it was left. So we can go a little bit faster. Come on. Thank you, Xbox. Okay. I mean, not much faster, but at least I'm not plowing into the ground. I'm on tractor number 50. It's raining. I gotta go home. Oh! Okay, rock there. Good to know. Don't even have my license yet. Okay, return the equipment to the farm. So I'm assuming if I unhitch it... Oh, there we go. You did a great job. You worked the field. Okay, so we get experience with people, and we get a reward. And there's no equipment bonus, which I don't know what that is. Saving. Sweet. Alright, let me go ahead and... Um, another link in the chat here of letting you know exactly what this is. But this is Real Farm. It's a farming simulator game. It's courtesy of Keymailer. And uh, it's a pretty cool game so far. I'd... Well, that went great. I've got another job for you listed on my job. The Learn How to Cultivate job board, which is available Learn How to Cultivate job, which is available on the job board. Okay. Job board. That's the next thing we have to figure out. Um, probably by the house. How do you run again? It was... Oh, there it is. Right trigger. Alright, here's the job board right here. Jobs. Equipment. Silver tree field. Learn how to call the field. I just did that. Get in the tractor. Well, okay then. So already a day has passed and none of my like sleep thing went down. So am I like some superhuman or something? Where I can like... I just did this job. This duplicate it? Oh no, this is a different job, see? Okay, connect the weight to the front. Alright, weight is connected. And now we have the cultivator. So we've plowed it. I guess this is how farmers really work. I'm not a farmer myself, so... Drive to the field. Field number four. I think we were just at field number four. <laughs> Me picking up speed now. Can't stop me now. Cultivate the field. Oh, my goodness. I have to do this again. 
maybe farming is more tedious than I thought. Let me make sure this is perfectly in line so I actually spend the time. Boom, okay. Uh, let's go unfold. Boom, boom, here we go. What does it look like after I've finished cultivating it? Nothing? That's not doing anything. Oh, then activate it. Okay. So double activation. We've lowered, and then we activate. Oh, check it out. Nice. It's nice and pretty. We're just going to do this random, because I feel like it. I'll catch it up later. This is like a square box, so it's not going to be that hard, whereas the cultivator was kind of, or the uh, plow was kind of like crooked, so I didn't really know what I was doing with that, but this is probably a little bit easier. I'll just go straight down. There's also some marks at the top of the of the uh, screen and it pops up every once in a while uh, I don't know what those stand for so hopefully they'll explain to me so if you look behind me it, it turns different colors when you're done things so we just cultivated it or no we just we just plowed it and now we're cultivating the field It's definitely a slow start to a game, though. Um, they could have made the experience a little bit quicker, it being a simulator and everything. They didn't need the tractor to be driving this slow. That's for sure. I'm sure they were going for realism, but... sure that's what they were going for. look above and beyond kind of what's in front of you. Um, oh shoot, I missed that spot. I'm being crooked. Um, if you miss what's in front of you, if you look behind what's in front of you, it is a little bit glitchy in the background. It's not as stable. Um, I'm looking forward to a game that is like real life. Something like GTA. Exactly. You mean like a simulator that's like, well, I mean, GTA is pretty simulated. The Sims. The Sims have gotten pretty simulated, like have been a huge simulator. Uh, they've experienced quite a bit of, uh, of simulated life, even the bad parts of life, like, you know, thieving and doing stuff like that. But yeah, I see what you're saying, Xbox. It would be cool to get like an actual simulated... Uh, real life type looking game. Because even GTA is kind of a little like cartoonish. Is I don't I don't know if that's the right word. I do play GTA 5 as well, guys. Though, so you're more than welcome to see that. Uh, I play online.
guess you don't have to cultivate the whole field. I guess I'm well over halfway. Yeah, how, I hope everybody's enjoying Gamerscom, Gamerscom, but or Gamescom, because right now there's some really awesome stuff getting announced out there, and uh, some of the big blockbuster games are getting lined up for the fall, and uh, I'm getting pretty excited for it. I definitely uh, will become part of, will purchase and probably stream uh, Fallout 76, as well as um, uh, as well as Lara, the Lara Croft Tomb Raider. Um, what is it? Shadow of uh, Shadow of something, or son of, I, I don't know what it's called. Honestly, I, I'm, I'm having a major brain blank on that, but those two games will be huge in the lineup this fall, and so we'll probably do some streaming of that and provide our own uh, game review of that. Unfortunately. I don't like how much the shark card costs, because 8 million for... A uh, hundred bucks is not going to do that much. No, not anymore. Xbox, that's for sure. Not anymore. Um, GTA currency has gone way up. I think the, uh, I think there has been issues with people kind of farming a lot of money. So because of that, GTA uh, or Rockstar has kind of upped the prices on things in order to provide a challenge for them. Uh, but unfortunately, in doing that, it's caused a lot of us people that don't grind all the money in GTA to uh, it being very difficult to to buy all right so we're about 30 minutes in so we're gonna just go over a recap of what we're doing right now uh, this game is called real farm it is being um, provided to me by key mailer key mailer has provided key for me for review and streaming purposes to uh, just get the name out there on it's a real farm simulator hence the name real farm and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Rockstar. Are you laughing at Rockstar? Um, and so, yeah, what we're doing is, uh, going through and doing an hour of this game, experiencing kind of what it has to offer. This game was published in October 2017, and, uh, so it is about almost a year old. But there is a lot of DLC that they've added to it, which is why I'm streaming this tonight, uh, particularly the potato pack. <laughs> I don't know if we'll experience the potato pack tonight, but um, if we do, that'll be cool. But the nice thing is, is it's good to see that there's still DLC being added to this game. I wanted to take a look at the graphics and kind of just the game, the overall game experience of it. Um, I thank you so much to the... Uh, developer and publisher so it was developed by Triangular Studios and I appreciate them for providing the key for me as well as Sodesco Sodesco Publishing for providing this and it's cool great job you got in the hang of it get uh, get on another job for you but first return my equipment man this guy always wants me to return his equipment that's because I'm only a worker on a farm guys and when you're a worker on a farm you, you don't get trusted. Okay, let's put everything away. Let's get up. We deactivate the tool. Then we fold the tool up so we can drive a little bit faster. And here we go. So, so far, guys, we've plowed our own field. We've cultivated our own field. And we're trying to work for this guy on the farm. And he does give us some money whenever we're done, which is kind of nice. So we're going to go drop off his stuff. I haven't slept in a bed yet at least in in this simulator I don't know what's that all about okay thank you for giving me 1000 uh, 483 okay cool I'm gonna put up a few links guys just to let you know again of where we're at again if you're on YouTube you're going to see that I am doing this from a live stream mixer.com uh, so right now here we have uh, from keymailer this was this code was provided to me the playthrough was sponsored by Keymailer, who provided the code for review and streaming purposes. Check them out at keymailer.co to see how you can help support a variety of developers. Um, the game itself is right here, the summary. Check out Real Farm, a simulated agricultural world that puts you at the helm of your very own land. You can own it right now. I haven't owned it because I'm starting the game from scratch. But you can check it out at Microsoft.com in their store, and uh, it's $439.99. Now, also... 
this is my YouTube account, which is if you're going to watch this later on, that's this is where this is going to be posted. If you're interested in the game, if you have comments or questions, um, or you just kind of want to look at it again and see, okay, is it interesting? There, it'll be on YouTube. Finally, this is my me uh, player me profile. This is where I will post my review. For those of you, fun fact. Player Me and the game catalog and the game library that it has, um, it has it there. It actually supports the game catalog that shows up in Mixer. So if you see the game in Player Me, you're going to see it in Mixer. If you don't see the game in Player Me, you're not going to be able to have it on your title screen or anything like that in Mixer. So it's kind of cool. Alright, thanks for bringing my machines back in one piece. Got another job available for my job board if you're interested. Okay. Let's go learn to sell. So I think we're learning, we've learned to plow, we've learned to cultivate, and now we're going to learn to sow. Let's get the seeds in here, right? Start growing. Jobs. Uh, learn how to sow a field. Okay. Jumping, jumping. Ooh, we got another piece of machinery. And I like it a lot. Oh man, you really have to be like super accurate with this thing because it will not hitch up. an 800 and 800 wheat looks like in my little thingamajigger down here this is a much faster tractor why can't I have this thing why couldn't I have this thing at the start you know all right we're back on field number four we have already plowed and cultivated this field so we're going to sow the field within the time limit open the vehicle controls first unfold unfold and activate the sower okay we're gonna go in the opposite direction because we're just like that. Um, so we always unfold first and then select the seed and we want to lower the hitch and then select the seed. How's that work? And then if we go yep that works. We're going to turn with this one as well because it's a little bit easier to do. It's just a tad bit easier. Pew, pew, pew. Why does my wheat count not go down? Oh, there it is. So the 2,795, I would guess it's not like seeds or anything, but it might be like uh, barrels of wheat that you put down, of wheat seed. I don't know, because it's taking a few seconds for me to dump stuff for it to actually take the seed away from me. I don't know what's that all, what that is all about, but... Alright, so now we have like a grayish color. I like how they get the uh, different textures just to let you know where have you been. This tractor is a lot faster and I like it. Apparently my tractor can run out of gas as well, which it's not doing right now. So I'm assuming I'm going to get a training on putting gas in my tractor.
Yeah, it's getting dark. It's been raining for like days while I'm doing this. I guess it's good because I'm putting seed down, right? Oh, I can't see anything! Can I put lights on in this tractor? Where are the lights? Oh, shoot, I can't see nothing. Oh, oh whoa, whoa! Warning. Oh no! Shoot. Oh shoot. Whew. So you could really bail on your job. I just got out of the tractor. Without even looking at it. I don't know where I'm going. It's too dark. There should be lights on this freaking thing. Oh no 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 no! I just dropped the. Really? Shoot! All right, I dropped the weight in the front as well. Let's redo this. So unfold, select the seed, lower the hitch. Alright, let's try this again. Now I can see things. I was trying to figure out a way to turn the lights on in the tractor, but apparently I don't have any lights. That's always good to know. Wait, is this snow? You're snowing? What is this? The more you know. I guess so. how long it takes you to do all this stuff like I wonder how long it takes you to complete this game because this is what been an hour and I haven't even finished sowing my field I need a faster I need a faster tractor you're right Xbox I need a faster tractor I agree Maybe this is teaching me how impatient I should be at farming. very nice though um, so when I'm steering it's very smooth I feel like when I push the the toggle sk sticks uh, the thumb sticks their uh, the responses are very nice and smooth which I was a little worried about especially with something like in as intricate for as farming um, let's see the sound and songs it would be nice if there was a little bit more music involved especially when you're doing tedious work like this i understand that it does have the experience of a farming twangs type of music or sound behind it but uh... it'd be nice if they had a little bit more variety of music um, what else what else can i say about this game while we're, while we're ending um, like I said, it looks like there's a lot of DLC out for it. I'm sure that they've experienced kind of adding this whole ex this whole simulated experience of, well, if you actually want to farm this stuff, here it is. Like, here's the potato pack. Um, you know? So, uh... So that's good. Um, what else to kind of is interesting about this game? 
I wonder if you could join other people's farms. I wonder if there's any type of multiplayer at all. Not multiplayer per se, but just like The Sims, if you were able to kind of visit someone else's uh, uh, farm or something, or they were able to... Okay, great job. You're getting the hang of it. Get, got another job. Okay. So this is the tutorial so far is what I'm noticing. All right, let's go ahead and take this up. Again, this is left B to get into this control. All right. So now my thing is, is sewn. Um, nope, this is the wrong way. So guess what we're doing? We're going in reverse. Here we go. Do, 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 do. I'm in coveralls and a checkered shirt, like a real farmer. There's windmills. Man, there's some, unless that's just pictures, man. There's probably a lot of things you can do with a farm here. Well, let's look at the map real quick. I can show you guys. Look what we got here. So we got a couple fields. Uh, let's see. I see 11, 13, um, 17. 17 fields, 18 fields. Um, do I see 19? 19. There's got to be a 20. 20 fields somewhere. Nope. Really. So that's kind of a weird number, but we have 19 fields. We have a farm over there. We have the house, gas station, stamina refill, uh, my truck, a water tank. We have a farm over there. We have a bakery. Okay. So you played Rainbow Six Siege? Uh, I played a little bit, Xbox. I played a little bit. Um, I did their free-to-play uh, weekend, and it was quite fun. So there's a trader, there's grain corporations, okay, there's Triangle Foods Incorporated. Um, there it is, what is this? Titan Trade Group, another farm, all right. Good to know we're saving, you know? I don't have to do this again. But yeah. So I've played Rainbow Siege 6 before, and it's, it is quite fun. I did a free-to-play weekend whenever it, it first came out. Excellent. Well, you know what they say. Whoever sows generously will also reap generously. So now i got to reap it, right? gonna go reap it. Learn to the harvest. Wee, we're jumping. We're jumping, we're jumping. Yes, please. Give me my grain. Give me my wheat. Oh, here's the legit dude, man. Look at that. Commager. How do I get up in there? There it is. Whoa, whoa, man. Friggin' huge. Now connect the harvest head to the front. Okay. Boom. Boom. No. Uh, am I on the wrong side? <laughs> I think I'm on the wrong side. Yep. Definitely on the wrong side. So we turn around and back up. I know. I heard it's. Awesome. I heard it is a good. People have been telling me to do so. Um, I don't know how much I want to spread myself. and um, I've to experience um, uh, a lot more. Oh, look at that. It's all grown, and it's all there. I, I just want to make sure that I'm not doing, you know, 
being shallow with every game. I want to kind of make sure I'm diving in. Pipes. In the vehicle control. To activate the harvest head. There it is. I don't know what the pipe did. You bought it yesterday? How are you liking it? You, I mean, I'm sure you're liking it. You're saying you're, it's it's a good uh, good thing. Good sell. Yeah, definitely. I, I don't know if you're going to get that Xbox anytime soon. Um, sea of Thieves is becoming a way more popular game than they could have ever imagined. Um, it's just... Uh, They've just done a, such a good job with it. So I don't see, you know, putting that on sale for the next couple months. be nice if around Christmas maybe it was or something. I, I only have it by because I use Xbox Game Pass. Which, by the way, Xbox Game Pass is a very good thing to buy. A very good thing to buy. If you have not bought Xbox Game Pass, I highly would suggest it. It's a good investment. I play a lot of games on Xbox um, Game Pass, and a lot of the updated new games are actually being out on it. For instance, Sea of Thieves is doing it. Um, Thieves, Thieves, sea of Thieves is on it. Um, Division is on it. It's all right. You tried its trail. All right. It's trial, and you say it's all right. Yeah, I. I think it's it's a big multiplayer game, and you really have to uh, have some people to play with for it to really, really, you know, really get the feel for it. Okay, look at me getting all my beautiful wheat, guys. All my beautiful wheats. Which means we're going to make some bread. Some wheat bread. We're gonna sell it. Actually, we'll probably sell, we'll give it to the cows for food, cause that's what we do. I oh, know I turned too deep. Okay. <laughs> you can see where I missed some of the wheat. Mobby. I tried to take advantage of Star Wars Battlefront 2, but it, I missed it. Really? Yeah, I, I don't know about Battlefront 2. So they had so much issues when they started out, and I didn't feel like I wanted to support um, the issues that they had because EA was kind of... They weren't being smart about it. Um, and here they had such great potential... You know, they had such great potential with Star Wars Battlefront, and to have it just kind of messed up, to kind of have it miss the mark like that when it first started, um, I think it's just kind of a failure of a of a, an industry um, vendor like them. Uh, so when they first came out with it, Xbox, they, they did this whole thing where they were selling... Um, they were selling uh, add-ons to the game, basically like the card game, and you would get battle cards. And um, you could buy the battle cards, though, and make it faster. But what people started finding out was that if the more, the, they were supposed to be only cosmetic, but they were actually benefiting people. So they actually, the, the more that people ground and bought battle cards, or collected battle cards, the more they actually were better at playing Battlefront 2. Um, so in doing that, they found out that it was really lopsiding the whole multiplayer experience of Battlefront 2, which is what it's really all about. I mean, that's what Star Wars is. You know, the Battlefront series. Um, and then, yeah, they've had experience with their other games. Yeah, and they've and now they've gotten better. Um, they they've kind of re they pulled the battle cards out very quickly, and they made them sort of like free for a lot of people at the beginning. And then they've just recently instigated more battle cards in there that you can you can actually pay for and earn. Um, 
but just just I mean just the fact that it started out that bad was not I, I didn't appreciate that I mean I'm sure it's better now um, I have a few friends that play Battlefront 2 quite a bit and they love it it's a fun game for them so I, I have nothing against the game itself but I just I don't like the way they they created that I, I wish that someone would provide like a really good Star Wars game you know like a really solid Star Wars game because um, I'm a big Star Wars buff myself. Alright, we're finished harvesting. So we're going to go and go on back. We're about at 56 minutes right now. Can I recommend some good games? Yes, I can. Um, let me just figure out how I want to do that because good games. Good games games. So Rise of the Tomb Raider is a great game. If you haven't experienced that yet, I highly would suggest it. There's a new Tomb Raider coming out in the fall, and I think it would be a great experience for you to enjoy something like the Rise of the Tomb Raider, so then you would actually want to play the, the new one in the fall. Um, I, I was by f hands down the Rise of the Tomb Raider. The Tomb Raider before Rise of the Tomb Raider was even fun. Um, just great storyline, great solid storyline, and that's what made it great. Um, and there was just a lot of great um, dialogue. So the whole story on Lara, Lara Croft and Tomb Raider was is really it's it's a rich story which I enjoy. Um, sea of Thieves, I just highly recommend if you can find some people to play with you. Uh, it's it's a great experience. It's kind of that uh, very well-rounded. You're a pirate. You're enjoying uh, living on the sea. You're doing some some activities like collecting chests, killing skeletons. Um, now they have these new uh, seasons out there of Sea of Thieves where they actually provide you with a limited time quest. Uh, buy or rent your own tractor at the vehicle shop. Oh, sweet. I can finally get it. Uh Let's see, what is another good one that just came out that I was highly... Oh, um, what's it called? Let me find it for you. It's called... Shoot, what's it called? Let me get it. One second. I think it's called Grave Graveyard Keeper. I never understood the game. I had no clue what to do. Oh, what game was that? All right, where do I buy a tractor? Sea of Thieves. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's that can be pretty hard uh, to understand. But if you find some people to play with, they can probably explain it to you. Um, I mean, I play Sea of Thieves. You're more than welcome to jump aboard if you ever get it um, to play with me. But uh, where is the vehicle shop? Okay. Vehicle shop. Car wash. Stamina. Car wash. Player gas station. Player drop-off point. Oh, job board. Go to the job board. Um, yeah, I was lucky to be a part of... a vehicle shop. Oh, wait. Hold on. There's a couple. Oh, those are job boards. Oh, vehicle shop. Haha, <laughs> I see it. And I even marked it. So I guess we'll get in our truck. We're about an hour into this, uh, into this review. And Sodesco, Sodesco, uh, the, uh, publishing company, as well as Triangle Studios, we are a developer, and I appreciate you guys for giving me a copy of this um, wonderful game in order to give uh, 
a review of it. It's a little slow start, I have to admit. I'm not too impressed with the slow start of it. I'm assuming it's to keep it as real as possible, it being a farming simulator game. But at the same time, you, it wouldn't have hurt, I think, to speed it up a bit um, and provide kind of um, the whole simulation part of it, you know? By not having to... Okay, I'm at the farm supply. There's houses here. I'm driving crazy. We're going to get through these houses. Stay on the road. I wonder if I can get pulled over by a police officer. That'd be hilarious. Farming. Shop. And we turn. And we go straight. Also nice if they gave me a little mark. Oh, donut! They have a donut shop. I mean, that's pretty darn good. I have to admit. Okay. Sale. Sale, 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 sale. Oh, they're having a sale. Please, then. How do I get in, man? They got this fence. Oh, there it is. Do, 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 do. You, you tried to go into it? Oh, no, I should, shouldn't I? Here, let me buy this stuff, and then we'll buy a tractor. Uh, tractors. Oh! Wow, they're expensive. Wait, how am I supposed to buy a tractor? Oh, I can rent one. I can't buy it. Well, then, freaking day. I need to buy a plow. What kind of uh, achievements are on here? Let's see. Nothing. Buy five. Own five attachments. Own five vehicles. Buy the farm and career mode. Buy ten fields. Pay off your debt. Do at least one. Let's see, we have to buy a plow. Nope. Get back in the car. Open dealership. Plow. I can buy a plow, though. Should I buy a plow? What's the difference? 60 HP. Oh, look at that. The distance. So it goes, like, exponential. Check that out. $20,000, I can get a fern. CX4. Or another fern. I guess I'll just rent. Rent for now. Great, you now, you can now do plowing jobs and use your own equipment. These free jobs are labeled with bring your own equipment and will earn you way more. I'll retire soon and I'm willing to sell my farm to you for a good price. If you earn $350,000, I'll make sure the bank will cover the other part. All right, I have to get three hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and you can buy the farm. Cool. Um. So the next thing to do is to go to the job board. Oh, let's try the donut shop, and then I might call it a a, a, a time on the review. Because we've pretty much experienced what we need to do. Uh, you plow, uh, you cultivate, and you sow, and then you reap. It's pretty darn simple. Uh, I don't see any blue marker Xbox. Usually it's a blue marker if it's open. So right now, it's kind of a boring old thing, but hopefully I can get it later on. I can't get donuts, so I can't even... I can't do my job without donuts. Okay. Here we go. It's... Can I accept it, or do I have to get out? Ugh, lazy. Jobs. Oh, wow. Okay. Job time. How long is... Wow, an hour? Or is that just how long it takes? So, 
spray spraying job will require an experienced tractor operator with sewing and spraying experience or oh just bring your own equipment sweet sewing job that's what I want please do not apply via email <laughs> oh that's funny um all right, let's let's go over here. Actually, let's go back. I don't want to go to her. I want to go back to my person. Cuz I think he'll give me more. Oh, look at me off roading. Woo! Woo! Hey guys, so uh we're going to be wrapping up this review right now um in a second, but just to let everybody know of the schedule this weekend, we will be back on tomorrow. Um, for a all-day stream, uh, to, for the most part. In the morning, we will be streaming Fortnite. We will be playing with some viewers and experiencing that. In the afternoon, we have a special, um, we have a special stream. that he wants to kind of do a co-stream with me in Sea of Thieves, so we're going to share the share the load with him and um, and do some of that. So Sea of Thieves will be in the afternoon and Fortnite will be in the evening. So there's nothing on his job board. I guess we'll go to her. But the Long Dark is the most realistic game ever. You check the gameplay, you might like it. Really? L the Long Dark. So that's the name of the game, huh? That's pretty cool. Never heard of the Long Dark. What is it about? Is it a horror genre game? Driving around, not knowing what we're doing. I'm trying to find a job that I like. Survival in the cold? Ooh, I, ah, I like that idea. I'll have to look that up. For sure, dude. Sewing job, cultivating job. Oh, see, I need to buy a tr I need to buy a sewing rig, and I need to buy a tractor rig. So none of these things. Oops. Okay. So it looks like I need to buy some stuff for it. But anyway, the, just to summarize, guys, this is Real Farm. This was provided to me by Kima, and I do appreciate you guys for giving me this code in order to do a review and uh, experience this on the stream. Uh, this game is pretty interesting. I think there's a lot of potential to it. Um, it does have a slow start. I will warn you guys that it's not for your um, more action-oriented kind of uh, shoot 'em up type people. Obviously, it is a farming simulator game, so it's going to be more of an experience of actually building your own farm. Um, with that being said, though, the controls are amazing. Um, the controls have been very easy to to manipulate, very easy to use. Uh, the directions are very clear. Uh, the game tells you exactly what needs to be done. The graphics have been nice and there's been a little bit of glitchiness in some of the graphics at the far back background but uh, other than that they've been very smooth and I can't imagine what this looks like on 4K, a 4K TV. Um, the music is, is calming and nice. I do appreciate it. It's kind of a, a soothing atmosphere which is nice. It, it's kind of more therapeutic than anything else. Um, so again, uh, just to shout out the developer and the publisher, Sodesco Publishing has created this game as alongside the developer, which is Triangular Studios. I do appreciate you both for allowing me this code as well to uh, to provide kind of a kind of an overview of what this game is all about. This will be posted up on my YouTube account either today or tomorrow. Um, when it does, 
you can go ahead and please provide your feedback. Anything you have is possible. I would love that. Uh, just I, I would enjoy that. I will also be providing a review on Player Me for this game. Remember, guys, tomorrow we will be probably around 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, or possibly 10 Eastern Standard Time. We, uh, we will be playing Fortnite with you guys, the viewers, as well as in the afternoon at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will be... We will be streaming with our great friend Choppy Siege and playing some Sea of Thieves. Thank you, Xbox, for hanging up, hanging out with me. Xbox Adaption was here at the stream walk, talking with me and, and having a good time. Uh, you have to make fire, hunt, and grab items from houses, and when it gets dark, it's dark. I really like the idea of that game. I'm going to have to check it out, Xbox. So with that, I will see you guys. Thank you so much for spending the time to uh, watch this, and uh, I wish you a good night.